So I'm gonna make a quick marinade to let this sit overnight actually in the refrigerator. We have three and a half pounds of the beef bottom round roast. Oh, you can't beat that meat. And we're gonna take here just a half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic, a full teaspoon of cinnamon, cocoa and cumin, a half a cup of very strong espresso, as well as a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna take this and pour it over that roast and let that sit. Let me go prepare that right now. So as you can see, it's a rather tight fit putting this three and a half pounds into this glass container, but that's actually really good because it's going to maximize my ingredients and the different flavorings. But what I need to do at this point is take my knife and put a few holes into the roast so that the flavors will actually get through here while this marinates overnight. Don't need to go too crazy with that, but a few is going to help. And as I pour it in, I'll make sure to get it into those holes as well. inside this container overnight it's going to sit here and absorb the juices and be ready for preparation further tomorrow. Here is my salt and pepper. You can use regular black pepper though I chose to use this uh, fancy colorful peppercorns. I thought it might add a little bit of colorful variety and of course you use any salt whether you prefer sea salt or whatever I'm using this Himalayan pink salt. Mm -mm -mm. Alright so we're going to take this here and we're going to take out of the fridge the wonderful meat that we had allowed to marinate overnight in the refrigerator and we're going to rub it down with that salt and pepper and then we're going to brown it on a medium high heat on all sides prior to putting it into the slow cook. Tablespoon of paprika, tablespoon of garlic, tablespoon of oregano, tablespoon of cumin, tablespoon of thyme and then for rubbing on the actual meat itself as we're going to be browning that in a pan we're going to be using a half a tablespoon of pepper and a half a tablespoon of salt and a quarter cup of olive oil before we throw that meat. Now with a very, very low heat, we're gonna be adding in a half a cup of dry red wine just to absorb the remaining flavors in there. We're gonna be adding this to the slow cooker itself. Definitely can't beat that meat. Ready for some slow cooking. In the background, you can hear some espresso brewing as I will be pouring on another couple of shots into this final mixture. And a shot of espresso. Don't worry, there's more coffee going in the actual crock pot. This might get a little splattery messy, but boy, is it gonna be good. You can smell the cinnamon in there from the marinade we had left last night. It is gonna be delicious. Wow, look at that. You really can't beat that meat. Be adding in our baby carrots. Mm-mm-mm. Mm, mm. Yum, yum, yum. and a couple of onions. Okay, ingredients for the slow cooker are gonna be real easy here. We're gonna be taking a tablespoon of the paprika and the garlic, and also a tablespoon of oregano, and a tablespoon of cumin, and a tablespoon of thyme. And we're gonna add that to a mix. For the actual roast itself though, we're gonna take that and rub it down with a half a tablespoon of salt, and a half a tablespoon of pepper, which I should have for a prop here somewhere. And here it is, the pepper. Mmm, -mm -mm, pepper, ground up and delicious. So we have the tablespoon of paprika, garlic, oregano, thyme, and cumin. And we have the salt and pepper. And optional, but I personally like to put in a tablespoon of chili powder. This again is up to you, it adds some nice kick to it, and I tend to put a little bit more of the hot peppers and then salt in my recipes. I've just added the espresso coffee, we're gonna put in three cinnamon sticks and a bay leaf. We're gonna cover this up with liquid and then let it slow cook for about six to eight hours. We're gonna check in on it and see how it's doing, but we wanna make sure it has nothing but complete deliciousness. So we're topping it off with water, making sure that our seasonings are all 
deliciously marinating in there and looking forward to coming home to an incredibly smelling delicious meal at the end of today. It's going to be fantastic. I'm slow simmering this brisket which I will enjoy later. Well there you go, freshly sliced and I'm going to drip some of the sauce over that as well and get this incredibly dripping with delicious flavor. Look at that. Strip a little bit more here and uh, oh, get all that flavor goodness in there. It'll be tasty, yummy. You know it's good. That I cannot wait to eat. It's gonna be really, really good. Oh, look at that. Deliciousness waiting to be enjoyed. Perfectly espresso flavored, slow cooked yumminess. Bring it home. Bring it on. Eat me. Yum.